Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Does my voice sound all smooth and bassy? What's up guys? I'm Code Gray. Welcome to the channel. Boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. That's right. You're hearing me through an all new microphone. Now I tell you it's a treat because I've already done some testing. And I also say it's a treat because that testing it's all been positive so far. So what microphone am I working with today? Well, this is a mouthful. Let me get it out here. Okay, it is the Troy's Professional Omnidirectional 360 degree lavalier microphone. I think I got that right. Now, where did I find this mic? Well, found it on Amazon. Next question is probably who recommended it? Honestly, no one recommended it. I stumbled across it. But to be honest with you guys, I was at my limit with my Sony microphone. Yes, it sounded good at slow speeds, but man, that popping and crackling just... I was up to here, you know? Alright, before we get into the results of my testing, and since we're stuck behind this bus for a few minutes, let's talk about what is included when you buy this microphone. All right, in the package, you will get, of course, the microphone. The microphone itself has a 1.5 meter cord. It has a foam cover already installed on the mic. The extras that you will get with this is an extra foam cover you will also get a black dead cat or wind muff also included in the package is an extra cable the extra cable supplied with your microphone is 10 foot long <laughs> now you will also get an adapter a if now if i say this right hopefully i'll say this right it is the TRRS to the TRS adapter, or vice versa. So how much did it cost? Well, on Amazon, I got it for $34, which is exactly $1 more than the Purple Panda. And if I remember right, which I could be wrong, I'll double check and post it up here, somewhere up here. Um, I think the Sony mic was like 44 47 eh, somewhere around there I'll post the actual cost right here okay a couple of things I want to say before we go into our results are a couple of cons that I've noticed with this mic so far um, one the cord length uh, 1.5 meter cord it's more annoying than a problem it's just there's a lot of cord to hide inside your helmet if you notice this is kind of going to be a comparison between the troy's mic the sony mic and the purple panda because those are the three i've used so far now the other thing that could possibly be annoying um is during my testing I noticed that this mic picks up just a slight bit more wind noise than the Purple Panda or the Sony. Um, it's minor. Now, normally what I would have done was throw on an extra dead cat because that's what I did with both of the other mics that I had in my helmet. Um, but I declined to do that yet because I want you guys to hear what this microphone sounds like with the supplied foam and supplied dead cat nothing extra also what i plan on doing in this video is showing you a couple of unedited sound clips okay because i edit my audio i have done with both my previous mics and i will edit a little bit with this one as well it's not drastic 
but it's just to dampen some ambient noise so pretty soon here I'll show you what it sounds like with without editing and of course you what you're hearing right now is edited okay we'll do a quick audio test right here since we're stuck waiting at a light you hear me now with my visor closed all right visor open you're getting some ambient noise a little bit of traffic noise sitting here waiting at the red light slightly annoyed <laughs> only because I just left work and it's been a long night okay we'll get back to our regularly scheduled moto vlog here in one moment okay so we're traveling about 35 miles per hour what we'll do is I will stop doing the audio editing here in a second so you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like okay and we're gonna stop it right here for those of you who do not do any type of audio editing this is pretty much what it's gonna sound like all right guys we are back to edited audio now so what did I do for some of this testing well after I got the mic installed I went to Mexico for some speed testing <laughs> now when I was down in Mexico I went from speeds of course from zero all the way up to 75 miles per hour I have to say that from zero all the way up to 75 I had zero popping and crackling none at all now keep that in mind because I've got a surprise for you here in a little bit all right so after my testing what do I think of this mic I'm pretty darn impressed with this mic I think it sounds pretty good and at the beginning of this video I said do I sound smooth and do I sound bassy well there, re there was a reason for that with my raw audio before I edit it this mic really brings out the bass sounds I can hear it more in my bike and I can hear it more in my voice that is until I edit the video do the audio editing anyway um, when I reduce or when I try to remove some of that ambient noise some of that wind noise it takes some of the bass out of the video now not only did it bring out the bass uh, from my bike from my voice but this microphone actually brings in the volume quite a bit too so now that I have this new mic installed I have to try to remember to talk a little bit quieter because it's actually pretty loud all right guys we are about to enter the freeways of Mexico we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the other testing that I did while I was out after I installed the mic all right so guys look down here on this Mexico freeway we're doing about 75 miles per hour one of the surprises I had for you was I did some open face helmet testing okay not really I don't have an open face helmet but I got the next best thing and I'm not going to exclude you guys either if you want to know what this mic's going to sound like with an open face helmet well let's find out now as of yesterday or day before when I did this recording I was at these speeds open face or open visor and even at these speeds I didn't have any popping and cracking now right now I'm gonna edit this audio so you can hear what it sounds like the way I do it but I'll start right now without audio okay guys this part has no editing you got an open face helmet you don't edit your videos audio wise this is what it's gonna sound like now I'm hoping it sounds just as good as I the way I tested it the other day but we're gonna find out all right, got to get that visor back down because my eyeballs are drying out. We got to get by this minivan. He knows we're in Mexico too. 
So surprise, surprise, huh? Now as long as this microphone isn't making me out to be a liar, this thing sounds really good. Yes, there's some wind noise, and yes, I will add an extra dead cat, but I honestly don't think the wind noise is really any worse than the Purple Panda or the Sony. But I should wrap this one up, guys. I don't want it to drag on too long, but I wanted you guys to hear this new microphone I got. Now remember, I'm gonna try to get this name out again. It is the Troy's Professional Omnidirectional 360 degree lavalier microphone. I think I got it right again. Maybe. Now I'm gonna ask you to do something. If you think this microphone is worth your interest, and if you think I'm right, and if this video turns out as well as I hope it does, uh, share this video. Because audio is the bane of any, every moto vlogger. And if we can get everybody sounding good, why not help each other out? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up now. I'm Code Gray. I'll catch you guys in the next one.